This is PC747, and I'm doing this video a little bit different. So, I am actually recording this on my Chromecast. The reason why, because I wanted to see if it can be done. There are a lot of people I see out there trying to make videos, make recordings, and not even want to have the money to buy a MacBook or a brand new computer, but Chromebooks are pretty cheap. A lot of you guys got phones out there. You got iPads, and I just wanted to see if I can do this so I can pass along the word. So this is literally a raw test testing this. And yeah, I will be uploading this soon to see how it goes. And you guys will get to see it as well. So what I'm using is my Chromecast, or I'm sorry, my Chromebook Plus, which is um, about a couple years old now. And plugged into it, I am using the iRig Pre, which I got off Amazon. I will link that below. It is hooked into my ATR mic that is attached to an Amazon basic stand and it's all plugged into my Chromebook using a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that connects to the USB type C. So it's pretty much sitting there in there and the app I'm using is HiQ MP3 recorder and I'm using a free version just to see if I could use a free version to see how it works. For those again that I'm trying to provide information for that's going to want to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer a question that I saw and actually just record and talk regularly and just see how well it plays back and upload it and get some feedback from you guys on if this is something that will actually work for someone. So my question that I'm going to answer is, so I saw this written on Quora and the question was, which smartphone should we look at for the next two months? And my response to that was simple. If you're someone who are who is a fan of iOS, it's no question. iPhone 11, iPhone 11 R, or iPhone 11 Max, depending on your budget and if you want a large smartphone. But for those who are Android fans, right now I think there are three main contenders right now that are right there in the running. Right now, well actually four. If we go with Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus or Samsung Galaxy S10 if you don't want a large phone. You got Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Then you have the OnePlus 7 Pro as well as the Pixel 4 XL or in the Pixel 4. So let's go ahead and start with the OnePlus 7 Pro because I feel right now that may very well be the best phone out overall. And the reason why I say that because with phones getting more expensive, for them to put out a phone with the same specs that is able to meet match up very well with the smartphones out there now, especially Samsung, and do that at a price of 700, 730 bucks, that is big. And we're talking about a phone with a 90 hertz refresh rate, 850, Snapdragon 855 processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage, dual SIM cards. So that means if you're someone who travel, this is going to be big for you. You don't have to go, you know, trading out SIM cards and all that stuff. As a matter of fact, I know someone who do travel a lot, and this is a phone I recommend to them. When I told them that it had dual SIM cards, they were lit up and seriously considering this phone, especially for the price. So you take all that and you compare that to what you're getting out of Samsung. So you take Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. It's a solid phone and a very good phone, but price-wise, a thousand bucks or more. Same we'll say with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And we don't know what's going to be coming to the Pixel 4 XL or the Pixel 4. We have an idea. We know or hope it comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM. We suspect it will have the 855 Snapdragon processor. We know we'll have the Soli camera or Soli technology cameras in there that were supposed to be able to recognize gestures. And a lot of the other camera tech that's going to be in there that is supposed to help boost Google further beyond with their trying to do with that technology. So the question has to be, right now, who would you say would be, or what phone would you say would be the best as far as Android to choose? And for right now, if you want overall best phone on the market, right now I think it is going to be the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Because of the simple fact, it has a camera, you have the display that's really good, the S Pen, the battery, and we, we still have to see more reviews on that, but I'm thinking it's going to be right now, hands down, the most powerful phone on the market right now. The problem is when you pay for that, you're going to pay for it. You're looking at over a thousand bucks for this phone, especially if you try to 
throw in more RAM and more storage space. I'm sorry, more storage space in. Yeah, if, especially if you go with the 5G version. But if you're someone who not wanting to spend that type of money, you like, okay, give me something that is on par with that. Well, right now it's the OnePlus 7 Pro because you have a lot of the same storage abilities as the Samsung phones. But what you're going to be lacking is the camera because the camera is not as good as what you're going to see on the Pixel or probably what you're going to see on the Note 10. As well as internal storage. With the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Pro or 10 Plus, you do have the ability to put an internal hard drive or external SD card. You can't do that with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, with the OnePlus 7 Pro with 256 gigabytes of internal storage, a lot of you guys may feel like, well, I really don't need an internal SD card. But there are some people who, or external SD card, but there are some people who are going to want an external SD card regardless. So if that's for you, this phone may not be for you. As far as the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL, it is still remains to be seen whether this phone is going to be the phone we hope it will be. And we won't know about it until, well, the phone is released and, yeah, we get a chance to put it in our hands and see how well it stacks up against the other two. So for right now, to answer that question, I got to take the Pixel 4 off the table because it's not have not been released yet. And I say right now, number one, if price is no answer, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Then the second phone I'll probably put out there is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, if price is no answer. But if price is a big deal for you, if you're trying to get the most for the bang of the buck, I want to go with the OnePlus 7 Pro because it checks all the boxes. And really, at the end of the day, it comes down to price for a lot of people, and that's going to be it. The only problem that, again, that you're going to worry about is you're going to have a slightly lesser camera. And if you can... Be okay with that. That would be ideal for you. And if you're someone who wants something in the middle, check out the Samsung Galaxy S10. I think you're going to find that phone at a decent price, especially now with the Note being out. You should be able to snag one pretty cheap, and you want to get a or cheaper. You're still going to get a great camera. You're still going to get a good phone. And I feel like overall, you're going to get a device that's going to stand tall. Now, honorable mention, obviously, the Pixel 3a and 3a XL. Uh, those are more for your mid-tier budget phones. You're going to be giving up some specs as far as the processor as well as the the build. So knowing that, that is kind of why I did not put that out there. But I do realize the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL are great choices to throw out there. Anyway, this is PC747 testing out to see how this goes, recorded on a Chromecast or Chromebook. And... It'll be interesting to see how well this turned out. I'm out. It's your boy, PC747. Thank you for checking out this video. This is an excerpt from this week's The Next Up podcast, which you can catch on SoundCloud, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, TuneIn Radio, and YouTube. If you like what you heard, please hit the like button and subscribe below. If not, feel free to leave a comment below on what you didn't like and ways I may improve. Constructive comments are welcome. But don't think the comment section is only for dislikes. Feel free to voice your opinion about the topics below. As always, have a good day. I'm out.